At first glance, this may just seem like another abused 250. And technically, you would be correct. But let me assure you, this bike is more than that. Believe it or not, this was one of the defining sports bikes back in the 90s. An era where emissions weren't concerned and where power to weight was always challenged. This is a 1993 Honda NSR 250R one of four 250cc two-stroke sports bikes that would happily outpace any four-stroke rivals with more than double the cc rating and outcorner most normal riders on superbikes of that era. This bike takes me back to my earliest memories, sitting on the park bench seat of my stepfather's Lincoln Continental, probably daydreaming of a land filled with ice cream and cotton candy, when all of a sudden, a sharp, high-pitched ringing cuts through and my eyes rest on a peculiar motorcycle as it vanishes behind a thick cloud of blue smoke. This particular example was enjoyed by its owner for over 20 years, and in that time, it lived the fast-paced lifestyle you would expect of a 90s sports bike. But as the owner's priorities shifted to his family, the little two-stroke slowly found itself further and further into the storage pile at the back of the shed, with the last decade or so having nothing but the company of dust and other forgotten relics by its side. This bike is not only a massive deal to me, but will also be a massive project. And with an engine that won't even fire, it's certainly gonna throw me in the deep end a bit. But I promise you, I will get this beauty back to her former glory, and she will be carving the twisty mountain roads and tearing up racetracks soon enough. This is my NSR 250, and I hope you enjoy the build that follows. Uh, so I was reviewing the footage, and yeah, I'm fairly certain that that cracked. When we were um, trailering this back, I didn't get it on film, but the Acti, we ended up bleeding on the way home and the Acti started flashing his high beams at us. Like, we were like, oh God, something's happened. So we pulled over. The Acti doesn't go very fast. because So we originally thought, oh, maybe something was wrong with the truck. Because it only did like, I think the top speed we ended up doing was about 60K. And it was like a- About 100 zone. Yeah, it was about 100 zone. I think it was 80 to 100, depending on the sections. Mm -hmm. So we pulled over and it was like pitch black just before another set of windy and he throws on his hazards and I'm just like, oh fuck, like something, something's going wrong. So we hop out of the car and the motorcycle was on its side <laughs> on the street. It, it, it doesn't help that when he mentioned this, I expected something had happened, but he didn't say that. He said the bike fell off. Yeah. I'm just like, well, fuck. Well, yeah, his bike was outside, which is not great, but it's much better than the bike. Yeah, so off. it was still it was still strapped down, but it was strapped outside. down on that side. <laughs> so, so yeah, so this this obviously cracked. We didn't know at the time because obviously it was pitch black, and I was too busy flashing my phone light. And then yeah, this this popped off. I'm not gonna pop it off. Yeah, I, I fixed it. Maybe don't just pop it straight yeah. back off again. But um, yeah, so that was like the first big bit of excitement when this bike came home. <laughs> the fact that so we strapped it back up and um, drove it. Very carefully. I ended up we driving. Up. It way better. Yeah, yeah. Next and time. I ended up just driving behind the whole way just to sort of keep an eye on the bike. We ended up doing like 40, 50k the whole way. Oh, yeah. It was it was about we picked up about half an hour's drive away and it was 30, 35 minutes away, yeah. but it took us about an hour to get home. Yeah, it took us about an hour. <laughs> we were not going fast. We were like, no 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 no, no. we don't really want this falling off. But yeah, so this bike's had quite a cool little history, I guess. I mean mm. it's it's lived the typical like how you picture a 90s sports bike to live you know the rough and rugged and street racing and crashing and picking up chicks and all that sort of fun stuff this bike's definitely lived it um it's had a, it's had a few few oopsies we're gonna need another another exhaust apparently these exhausts are decent quality apparently they are the ones to have yeah which now makes me wonder about not getting rid of them but i also hate the lack of evenness of the back yeah that's one thing i don't like about the two strokes the um rs250 doesn't have this, the issue because both exhausts are on the same side but obviously with the nsr you stop pulling the bits. recommend your mum stops pulling the bits. put that in the video <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> <laughs>